let us derive some more formulae on transformations. So, we know that the sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b equals to 2 sin a cos b. Let us say or let us suppose a plus b is equal to c, a minus b equals to d. Let us find out a and b values in terms of c and d. So, adding that is means here you get a will be c plus d by 2 easily we can observe and b becomes c minus d by 2. Substituting a for c plus d by 2, substituting a plus b for c, a minus b for d and a for c plus d by 2, b for c minus d by 2. So, we have sin c plus sin d can be stated as 2 sin of c plus d by 2 and cos of c minus d by 2. So, that means the sum of the here two ratios can be changed as a product using this formula sin c plus sin d is equal to 2 sin of c plus d by 2 cos of c minus d by 2. Now, we have another formula sin of a plus b minus sin of a minus b this is equal to 2 cos a cos b replace a plus b is equal to c a minus b is equal to d this becomes sin c minus sin d equals to 2 cos of c plus d by 2 and cos of this will be sorry this will be sin b sin of c minus d by 2. So, this is sin c minus sin d formula. We know that cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b equals to 2 cos a cos b now, this is we can write cos d plus cos c equals to 2 cos of c plus d by 2 and cos of c minus d by 2. So, now cos c plus cos d formula or cos d Now, cos of a, a plus b minus cos of a minus b equals to minus 2 sin a sin b. I already told you earlier. Now, this becomes cos c minus cos d equals to minus 2 sin of a c plus d by 2 and sin of c minus d by 2. So, if you want to avoid negative sign this can be stated 2 sin of c plus d by 2 and sin of d minus c by 2 only in this special case will arise in the case of cos c minus cos d. So, these formulae are enough to solve the problems in transformations. In transformations, we are going to study identity also that will be discussed later. So, let me revise all the formulae for a while. Sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b is equal to sin a cos b. Sin of a plus b minus sin of a minus b is equal to cos a sin b cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b is equal to cos a cos b cos of a plus b minus cos of 
a minus b equals to minus 2 sin a sin b. Using these four formulae, the sum can be changed into product. But whereas, let us come to these four formulae sin c plus sin d is equal to 2 sin of c plus d by 2 cos of c minus d by 2. Sin c minus sin d is equal to 2 cos of c plus d by 2 and sin of c minus d by 2. In the case of cos c plus cos d equals to 2 cos of c plus d by 2 cos of c minus d by 2. Cos c minus cos d is very carefully we have to apply for the formula. If you want to apply negative value that is minus 2 sin of c plus d by 2 sin of c minus d by 2. If you want to avoid the negative sign or that can be written cos c minus cos d is equal to 2 sin of c plus d by 2 sin d minus c by 2. Solved problems. Solved problems. First one, prove that sine seventy eight degrees plus cos one thirty two degrees is equal to root five minus one by four. This is the problem. Okay. Now, take the left, left hand side sin 78 degrees plus cos 132 degrees. Suppose if you say this is 78 is C, 132 is D this will be in the form of sin c plus cos d. Shall we have any formula for sin c plus cos d? No, we have the formula for sin c plus sin d or cos c plus cos d. So, that is why it is quite obvious that we have to change this cos 132 degrees in terms of sin. First let us change. So, this can be written sin 78 degrees plus cos of 90 degrees plus now let us see 132 minus 30 is how much 2 next we can write 42 degrees cos 90 plus theta cos 90 plus theta is changes to sin that is minus sign so sin 78 degrees minus sin 42 degrees now you check it this is in the form of sin c minus sin d the sin c minus sin d we have the formula 2 cos of c plus d by 2 and sin c minus d by 2 am i correct so using this formula now we are transforming difference it into the product. So, this is equal to 2 cos of 78 degrees plus 42 degrees divided by 2 and next sin of 78 degrees minus 42 degrees by 2. Now, this will be 2 cos of 78 plus 42 is how much 120 degrees by 2 and sin of 78 minus 42 is 6 36 degrees by 2. This will be 2 cos 60 degrees and sin of 18 degrees. Do we have any idea about the values of cos 60 as well as sin 60? 18 degrees? Yes. Cos 60 degrees is 1 by 2, sin 18 degrees is equal to root 5 minus 1 by 4. 
So, let us substitute that is 2 into 1 by 2 into root 5 minus 1 by 4. Now, this gets cancelled we have root 5 minus 1 by 4. So, now check it root 5 minus 1 by 4 equals to R H S.